dream is something we all strive for. The Oxford English Dictionary defines the American dream as the idea that every citizen of the United States should have equal opportunity to success and prosperity through determination, hard work, and initiative. Bill, thank you so much for being part of what I think is an extraordinary episode. You really do define what the American dream is all about. Why don't we just dive in and start with the dream you had and how it succeeded to be a beautiful company and something that has really helped everyone else achieve their American dream. Well, I worked for Corporate America from 1970 to 74. I was a systems analyst and I helped a uh, company integrate their national company and their international company. And I did it with a group of programmers, me, and uh, 20 programs for about five years. I had a big meeting in uh, at corporate headquarters in New York City. I worked in the Pan Am building and everybody was touting the success of the system that we built. Not one word was mentioned about me and my team. That day I was out of the company. So what do I want to do now? I'm, I'm not gonna want to work for corporate America where I don't get recognized. So my father was a uh, stonemason. I love actually going to houses with the sawdust and all. And I said, well, now, why now? I'm going to open up a brokerage firm. So that day in 1974, we were the first company in the United States that the agent is our customer. The public is our secondary customer, but the agent's our primary customer. Also, guess what I did? I made sure that those agents were recognized all the time because I felt this thing myself of not being recognized for all the work that you did. I want to make sure that that did not happen for the people that work for us. Today, we're 5,000 strong. We're in 145 offices throughout nine states. And we have wonderful agents like Shoshana here that uh, she's uh, a gift to all of us. And we're, it's our pleasure to have her working for us too. Thank you. We've been part of so many aspects of the company. Um, you really do give back with the Damon Runyon and the Ravis Ride and Walk, which we love every year. Um, you have amazing affiliations with Boston Red Sox, which is exciting. So I'd love to kind of chat about that part. Well, not only do we want to build a company, but we want to build a community too. So for part of my view, part of being in business is giving back to your community. And uh, cancer research is very personal to us. My wife was uh, diagnosed with uh, leukemia. Actually, my former president of the company had breast cancer. So we dove into the, into the business of funding uh, cancer research. One thing I like about Damon Runyon is they give 100% of the money back to the research scientists. So therefore, if you if you get 100 hours, you give them, they give 100 hours to research scientists. The way they make their money, they have a fund aside that sort of they, they invest money in. But it's a direct contribution to the research. It's a very, very valuable thing. If you did that with hospitals, the hospital would take a 20 or 30% off. But with uh, Damon Runyon and Dana Farmer, basically uh, it goes directly to the scientists. But Red Sox gave us, it's a family business. Uh, they reached out to us and we've had a relationship with them for now, I think five years. And it's just a terrific organization. And we also give back to our communities. We have hundreds of donations that we have made throughout the years to, you know, small things like the Shelton you know, Town Hall or, or Guilford uh, Green, Boys and Girls Clubs. We are part of the community and we want to give back to the community. So you're asking me about innovation and why do we innovate? Well, we're there for the agents to give them tools so they can uh, efficiently sell the home better. We have local housing data that gives you all the data for actually forecasts the future values of homes. We have one big team that helps you sell uh, houses and helps you list houses. We do the financing, we do the mortgages. We'll actually buy somebody's house. We'll actually give them up some money to go purchase a house. So we do everything we can to help you become better at your job. And there you have it, a glimpse into one of the most impressive entrepreneurs I know, whose American dream is all about helping others achieve their American dream. Thanks for joining me on another episode of the American Dream TV. Until next time, bye.